Oxygen pulse therapy was first developed by Manfred von Erden as oxygen multi-step therapy. Oxygen pulse therapy induces a temporary maximum in plasma oxygen content and other factors to restore cellular oxygen delivery. Therapy targets capillary chokes with a multiple effect pulse of elevated heartbeat, oxygen, carbon dioxide, pulse pressure, and nutrients. Therapy seeks a perfect storm of simultaneous effects to overcome vascular chokes and to resolve cell distress. The recipe is technically complicated but physically simple. The model is to stack as many factors as possible at the same time to produce the product, not the sum, of effects. The effects that enable oxygen delivery must overcome the effects that inhibit delivery. In simple terms, more is better. Successful therapy overwhelms inhibitors with enablers. The goal is to stack as many factors as possible at the same time in favor of success. The model seeks a perfect storm of oxygen distribution, utilizing concentration, turbulence, flow, regulatory effects, and detoxification. This table organizes the therapy factors according to their apparent effects. Physically, the method involves three simple and safe components. Extra oxygen in breath, exertion by exercise, and a nutrient cocktail. These three factors in sufficient amounts create the perfect storm. Progress is limited by sludge tides and fitness. Distress areas release waste within moments of restored circulation. This release forces the body to spend energy on garbage cleanup, which leaves less energy for exertion. Athletes recognize this as the wall, which happens when lactic-related acids exceed the body's ability to recycle. In therapy, we call this a sludge tide. Oxygen has reached a distressed area that dumped waste into circulation. Perceived strain persists until the tide clears, usually in a few minutes. One 15-minute session usually triggers between one and three tides. How many sessions will I need? Well, that depends on how much sludge your body has stored. Each session will release only as much as you can tolerate. Athletes capable of burst exertion usually clean up in under four sessions. Everybody else takes longer. Tolerance reflects the sludge clearance a person's body can handle in a session, and this varies a lot. Respiratory power from a fast heart rate and hard breath create vascular turbulence. This turbulence in the lungs mixes oxygen with blood plasma, and stronger mixing forces more oxygen into the blood, and the more oxygen in the blood releases more capillary chokes faster, so respiratory power determines the rate of progress with therapy. Less able individuals have to go slower because the body has to start by fixing the critical systems that move oxygen. The lungs, heart, blood, and vascular system must work because without these oxygen can't reach the other parts of the body. This therapy affects core systems first. Mild exertion that increases the heart rate by only 10 percent above resting levels usually increases lung and heart turbulence enough to begin the process. Process continues as long as the therapy repeats before earlier progress fades. Conservative methods appropriate for fragile individuals and appropriate for a doctor's administration are published on whnlive.com. Over 50 percent of NFL players who use this protocol to resolve season fatigue release enough waste to overwhelm their Cori cycle. When the liver floods with too much waste the excess dumps into the digestive system. The first clue that this is happening is gurgling under the right rib cage. The second clue is a series of loose stools lasting up to six hours. Others have reported profuse sweating and strong urine. These flows evidence clearance of accumulated waste through normal elimination pathways. Oxygen pulse therapy reboots cell metabolism and restores cell function. And this function continues until something stops it again. A sense of improved well-being almost always occurs and persists after each session.
this improvement reflects progressive reduction of distressed tissue and restoration of normal metabolism.